Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. Before we get into Ebony increasing the divorce rate amongst its players, important announcement, great update for players. Just to let you know, it sounds like, I just gonna get it confirmed, but it sounds like there's gonna be new codes every second weekend of every event. So basically SVS weekends. So whenever there's an event out, if you like something, you can wait. For the second weekend, for all your favorite discounts, you don't got to use these other stores that work in certain countries, force you to change your currency, hit you back with currency exchange fees at the end, change the discounts, flat discount for everything. Let's, uh, I'll get you more information on that as it comes in, but let's get to the divorce rate. Let's get to the social lawns. Is Ebony really trying to just break up its families? So they changed it. It looks like they did change it to the weekend. But if we look at all this stuff, so right now looks like uh, you can still sign up for Guagamala, but it looks like Guagamala is probably at reset today. It's going to be over and it's not going to happen. Or maybe they're going to let us play for one week and then not play again. And then BOC, it's going to continue to take place on Saturday. And Shalonza's move to Sunday? Like, Ebony, wouldn't it just make more sense to cancel BOC and have BOG run during the week? So you expect players to be able to tell their spouse or significant other, hey, I'm done for the weekend. This is basically like SVS again, baby. And <laughs> I'm playing in a locked-in time, Sunday morning in North America, and Saturday... I'm going to find two hours to play too. So this is not going to go over well with players, with families. I know Clash of Civilizations, which was kind of like a attend if you want, nothing too serious, no one really cares, just pop in and play a bit. That was kind of hard for me to sneak away and play a little bit because on Saturday, like the deal with the wife is, you know, she takes the kids away for two hours and I get to play BOC and then I pay for it, you know, in terms of I have to take the kids for a little while and pay her back. But that same deal wouldn't happen two days in a row because it's not easy on your own with multiple kids. So, yeah, I don't know how that's going to happen for people. So you can see for me, this is 9 a.m. So not a good time. And that's not a good time if you have family, right? Like breakfast time is just happening. Chaos is happening in the house. You're cleaning it up. It's not nap time yet. So it's not going to go well. And then they have some interesting information in here at the bottom. So if we go right down here, uh, during Battle of Shalons, I'll put it right to the top so you can see it. Number five, during Battle of Shalons, Battle of Guagamala will stop. The battlefield season ranking will not be recorded and the related glories will not be unlocked. So it sounds like there's a one-week season of BOG and it's not going to count as a one-week season. And then I don't know what that really means for BOC. Is that going to count or not? And apparently there's some players out there who could already see their matchups. And some who can't. So, um, round rewards. I'm looking around here. I don't think that there's anywhere I'm missing. Battle log. Top charts. That doesn't show anything for me. Maybe I can go. It used to be, is it in BOC? No, it's not in there. If I click here to go to Battle of Shalons, I can't see my matchup. Battle of Austerlitz is gone. I guess it's done forever. So anyways, uh, let me know if you guys can see your Shalons matchups. Let me know if you're, you know, how you're going to deal with this potential divorce situation. And if you like the time change or not. Would have been good if they just left us with one event on the weekend. And like, subscribe, leave a comment.